if they could use some of the rain that we've been getting here the last 24 hours, but it doesn't look like they're getting that right now. Yeah, they, we, I wish we could share it, down, you know, down to the south. There's some locations in California that are picking up some moisture, but this event has mainly been for the Pacific Northwest. At least the heavier totals, the more intense totals, um, as, uh, as far as those that just continue to climb over an inch to two inches, that, that type of rain that really helps out uh, has been mainly in areas of Washington and Oregon. So that is going to help us with local wildfires. Tonight, we still have some thunderstorm activity. You can see the general flow going on. We're going to work our way out and then back in so we have an idea of what is actually happening. We have this dip in the jet stream. This is a trough. This is cool air. It's unsettled. We've had a couple waves of energy kind of embedded into that. We had our first front that moved through overnight uh, last night into this morning, and now we have a second one. So we have plenty of lightning going on tonight. You can see the fire perimeters there. I mean, there's some moisture down in areas of California, but a lot of that heavy rain has been uh, concentrated and kind of corralled right into our section of the Pacific Northwest. All right, I'll step out of the way so you can see what's going on here. We have shower activity moving through Hillsborough, St. Helens, Amboy, uh, down through Portland. Oregon City a bit drier at this hour, but you've had your fair share of rain. The heaviest of the rain, though, is across the way in the Clark and Cowlitz County tonight. A lot of these cells here have even produced some lightning at times. I've seen some very impressive rain totals from about battleground extending up to the northeast. Uh, right around the Skamania border there. This is where we've had almost to about two inches plus of rain. So if you're located in these uh, areas, especially tonight, be careful with some localized flooding. Uh, if you're doing any sort of traveling, the roads are going to be very wet. And this is going to be something that we have to monitor as we head into tonight. All right, we've had a couple cells coming off the Pacific Ocean with a lot of lightning. We've had some moisture convergence. I think that's allowed for some of these thunderstorms to develop, makes it a little more unstable. And so we've had plenty of lightning going on with some of these cells. And it's been very consistent, extending right through about Cannon Beach down to Rockaway Beach. A bit of a lightning show. We've had numerous strikes over the last couple of hours. So please uh, just be careful out there. It's a night to just stay inside and listen to the rain and the thunderstorms. Rain total since midnight up and down the Willamette Valley over an inch. We were expecting that. I think weather models did an excellent job through the course of the week upgrading and, um, and updating as we've gone through the last five days. And they have pretty much uh, spot on nailed some of these rain totals. The Dow is about a quarter of an inch. We've had rain for just about everybody from eastern Oregon all the way extending out towards the Oregon coast. The last time we had over an inch of rain was back in January. So it's been about eight months or so since we've had above an inch of rain here. And we have more rain tonight before we wrap up the day and more tomorrow. You can see here for the coast, I have temperatures in the 60s with a chance for some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm. I think we have a shot for a thunderstorm here too from about Vancouver down to Portland. Pendleton topping off about 66 tomorrow and Hood River at 61 with some passing clouds and some showers. All right, 80 degrees on Tuesday. We're back to some warmer air. Fall arrives on Wednesday, Wayne at 73 and then 81 on Friday. So we have some nice weather on the way. Yeah, right back to it. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Next on Coin 6 News.